My name's Ian Morgan. Um, I race for 151 Express, and I am the driver of this vessel. I throttle for 151 Express. My name is Nick Impressa. And uh, Ian and I have been best friends since sixth grade. Well, he was the new kid, so I was in the school like, I don't know, however many years, and then he just randomly showed up. I'm like, I've never seen you before. Like, yeah, I was changing schools. So I didn't really know anybody. And he had like the Jay Beebs haircut. It was oh, all yeah, like it swoopy. Was... It was it was interesting. It was Actually, Justin blonde. Justin hit me up and asked if he could yeah, ride. He's it. like, Yo, where's your? I said, Yeah, I'll, I'll let you ride it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> My dad's boat raced his whole life, and he brought me up through the sport and just kind of made it available for me and, and showed me, you know, who to talk to and, and how to get things done and, and how to hold yourself to a, a standard. Ian started working for my dad and I when we were, what, 14 years old? No, 13. 13 12. years old. One of the two. Just playing around the shop, and then it just snowballed into becoming a real career. And, and we worked for Sean Torrente Racing for our day-to-day -day job, uh, doing race boat stuff all day long. Like, that's what we do seven days a week. And when we're not working with Sean, we're with the best race crew in the world, 151 Express, and it's a match made in heaven for sure. The team is based from like a go-kart racing world, so they're really familiar with seat time and setup and tuning and, and just tweaking it to make it as comfortable as possible. So we spend a lot of time refining what we're doing in our test program and our racing program. Things kind of escalated for a little bit, and I would say they're kind of leveled out. We're super competitive. Everybody kind of knows where each other stands. And I mean, the class is so competitive, anybody can win any given day. And anybody has one. Mm -hmm. There will be times where we don't even say anything and we're just doing, like we're just messing and doing whatever's going on and it's just happening. It's not like... And then it's also like a lack of chaos. So like when we're coming up to the dock, I know he can dock the boat, I can dock the boat. Like it's just a he's got me, I got him type of thing. And then you add in a bunch of really, really, really skilled guys. And the guys that, that work on our race team, they're boat racing like to the heart, that's what they do every day. They're so cool, they pick us up when we're down and, and we pick them up, we work really well together. So, so I sit on the right side of the boat and Nick sits on the left side and Nick has a lot of blinking lights and in our other boat, it was a, it's called a Mod V, that was a class, there's a single engine uh, V bottom and I had blinky lights on that one but then the guys took them away from me because I got distracted a couple times in practice. Yeah, blinky so lights. So no more blinky no lights in front of me. So but, Nick, Nick gets all the blinky but, lights. He does have a little airplane that he plays I do. With. It's called, his name is Lil Farm. So the oh, airplane yeah. sits on the He's dash. Cool. And when we hit around, a good one, <laughs> that little <laughs> goes flying across the cockpit. He's foam though, so it doesn't hurt. No, and we got it's, it's a little on. foam plane. But th that little shit goes flying across the cockpit and you know it's getting western. All right, so you guys want to come see the boat? All right, MTV, let's go. welcome to my boat. Check it out. I'm getting late to old fish. Yeah. That's like an every morning thing. This is where it all happens. Um, right now it's a two seater configuration, but this boat is a race pleasure. Um, it does have back seat, um, or at least room for a back seat, and a, and a hatch and an escape hatch. It's got all the proper safety equipment for five people to ride in this thing comfortably. But right now we're going racing. That's what we're here for. And we're here for a big old fat W. So two seats, um, we got battery switches over here. We've got a couple screens that all do different things. A big screen in the middle. It's got a rear view facing camera. That way we can we can see who's on the tail and we can kind of gauge where we're at around the race course. On my side, I've got their data dashboards and they record data. They record everything the motor's doing, um, each one for each motor. Um, so I've got speed, um, cooling pressure, where my tunnel tab's at as far as degrees down or up, trim for the motors. The boats are super sensitive because it's a catamaran, it rides on air. And what happens is when you trim it up and trim it down, the boat actually changes its, its leverage or its attitude. So that's part of my job. I, I have to control how the boat's gonna adjust over each wave and try to get as much speed out of it as possible. All I get is a steering wheel. And Ian tries to get us around the race course as quickly as possible. So this is my steering wheel. And this actually is what the boat turns with. Like you gotta physically turn it, like spin it like that, like a car pretty much. Um, and it detaches, so if we did crash yeah, and we did have to get out, it gets out of the way so we can get out of the escape there's, hatch. There's no way I'm getting out right now. So something does happen. You just pull them off. You say, screw this thing. This is like 20 bucks. My life is worth way more than that. And then you just throw it and then get out. Yeah. And then we also have air bottles on each side. There's an air bottle here and there's an air bottle there. 
and That's we smart. have these regulators. So if we are stuck inside the boat and there's water coming in, <laughs> sorry, we can we can put <laughs> regulators in our mouth and we can breathe um, through the tanks. That way we have some more time for the rescue divers to get to us. All right, so we got phone chargers. They're wireless, they hold the phone in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But the coolest thing is this uh, intercom system for the helmets is also Bluetooth. So I can play music, make a phone call, or I mean, like you can watch a YouTube video on your phone, it'll come through the headset. But we use it to actually call our crew chief who's on shore and he's also timing us, counting our laps, or helping us count laps and then also uh, letting us know where people are and how far behind they are. Um, this is by far one of the safest boats on the, on the course. Um, it's got a roll cage built into it made out of epoxy and, and carbon fiber. And then with these windows, their windows are inch and three quarters thick. So they're super, super thick. That's a lot of centimeters for our overseas <laughs> viewers. Yeah. <laughs> so with the windows being so thick, they're actually bulletproof. So if this boat does turn over and we're going at a pretty high rate of speed, which we usually are at the plan, um, the, the cell that we're sitting in will not fracture or will not break and it will not put us in harm's way. It's, it, it, this is our last resort. And then around us is actually a big giant crash box that if a boat did come through the side of us or crash into the side of us, it would be deflected away from the cockpit that we're sitting in. So the, the safety is, is by far the most um, impressive part of, of this boat and then also the just the combination of mercury racing coming along and, and providing a really really good piece of equipment and, and really good product that way we can have race after race and not have to tear things down and, and chase problems all the time like they do a really good job with a really reliable package so that door you're sitting on that's a billet aluminum door and it's all made out of one piece. And it gets machined in a shop in South Florida. And what it does, it, it attaches four points. There's a bunch of O-rings. There's three O-rings in there to keep the water from getting in. And there's little glass. So the idea is, if it does flip over, right now that glass is dark because it's staring at the water. But if the boat does flip over, that will now be light. So we just follow the light out. Grab the handle, yank it open, and we can go out and what is the bottom, which would now be the top if it was upside down. And your socks don't get wet. Your socks don't get wet. That's the best part. You don't even get wet. You can crash this thing and not get wet. That's great. I wouldn't say that's the best part. I mean, racing it up right side up is pretty cool too. You know. Thank you for everything, P1. Seriously, I consider these people my family, and and you guys all welcomed us with open arms, and we really appreciate everything you guys do. So. We'll see you next time. Thank you.